guys, what's up? Uh, my name is Lakea Vargas. I'm 21 years old, I'm from Hawaii. I've been doing judo for like about 10 years and jiu-jitsu for 11 years. I love them both very dearly. I practice them both every single day. Uh, I compete for uh, the USA International. I've been doing judo competitions for the past three years internationally, trying to compete for the Olympics and my passion for judo and jiu-jitsu it's just a lifestyle outside and I really love what I do. Uh, jiu-jitsu helps my judo a lot. I trained jiu-jitsu before I did judo and I love jiu-jitsu and it works so much in judo. Most of my, my wins comes from submissions, from arm bars, from chokes, from pins or saikomis and my goal is always to throw the guy and to submit them, you know, or just to throw them in general. And jiu-jitsu has helped a lot. Without jiu-jitsu, I wouldn't be the athlete and the competitor who I am in judo. A lot of people ignore cross-training and they just want to do judo or they just want to do jiu-jitsu. But judo, jiu-jitsu, wrestling, you know, coming together will help you in general, help me in general. And without cross-training, I just wouldn't be an elite athlete of who I am now. Honestly, I think that the judo world has a lot of pride and they ignore the jiu-jitsu and vice versa but most people you know are opening up their minds to the fact of cross training but for example back in 2017 I did uh, the world championships for judo in Budapest and I was doing like Dele Iva sweeps with the Yoko Tumanage and I was going for the Juji Katami, the chokes, the Sankaku. So I was mixing in, you know, the judo and jiu-jitsu. And that's who I am, you know, I wasn't portraying anything, but that's what I do, you know, in training and in competition. So I just felt that way, you know, and I did what I did. But recently, you know, the judo federation has changed the rules in a way that it's just really hard to compete in jiu-jitsu, you know because of the rules that stops you from competing in outside sports like MMA, wrestling, jiu-jitsu. And it's just hard because I would love to compete in jiu-jitsu. And also with the rules not grabbing on the legs, when you go for Yoko Tomoe, you can't quickly grab uh, the ankles or any waist below as soon as you hit the floor. And there's a lot of rules now that prevent what I did back, back then to win a match, so I can't do those things. It was very beneficial for me using uh, jiu-jitsu techniques in judo. I did Yoko Tomoe to Manages and switching up the game by doing what people don't usually do. Judo guys don't know how to escape the Elihibas or whatever, so I just did that and it worked for me. But recently, some rule changes doesn't allow me to do jiu-jitsu, so it kinda takes away the game for me but at the same time in creating is the lifestyle of an athlete you know doing techniques that most athletes don't even do things that I do to adapt from the new root changes with judo is just coming in talking to Bruno talking to uh, Sensei Sasaki um, going into practices, just playing around and see what I could do to benefit from the new rules. Whether it be grip breaks, newaza, tachiwaza, um, types of throws that you could do. Just benefiting from it by thinking outside of the box. The advantages of training at both Sasaki Judo and Orlando BJJ, I feel that finding your school that you like to go to, I think it's everything, the instructors, the people, the front desk people, everybody. The advantage is, there's a lot, you know. Sasaki comes from Japan, he used to be in the national team for Japan, and he's a small little dude, small like Bruno Malfacine, and they use techniques that doesn't require strength, and that's kind of my game, you know. I'm not a strong person, I'm more of a technical and fast competitor, athlete, and knowing how to throw and submit someone that's bigger than you. Just like Jigo Kano, I just feel like, you know, that's the tradition that I keep within myself. Hey guys, I'd like to shout out uh, Quan, BJJ, 
He's here with Flow Culture filming. Uh, wouldn't be here without you. Also, my Uke right here, Jimmy Akiyama. He's my best, my best friend training here. And at Orlando BJJ with Bruno Malfasine, Brad Thompson. They're very nice people inviting me and letting me train here. And I'd like to thank Sasaki Judo uh, for, my, for my Judo. Also, Kitsu Sai team back down in Cold Springs. I'd like to thank you guys as well. Um, I love my family. I think about the Team Vargas here bringing me always and just my Ohana back at home in Hawaii. So a shout out to you guys and also Ratbox for the tape that you guys send me and Ipong gear for the cool judo geese. IJF approved. <laughs> awesome.